Hello and welcome, Aries. You are watching Thomas's Tower Readings with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, Aries, this is your July 2023 reading. And what we will do here, as usual, we will divide the reading into sections. So it's a bit easier um, to sort of uh, get it, um, you know, and actually say it. So what we will do is we will look at the overall energy for the months ahead <coughs> for your very sign before we then look at your emotional core. Um, and then lastly, we look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of July. Now, July um, will have a, a super moon. Actually, uh, July will have one, August will have two, September will have one. So there will be four supermoons coming up. Um, so I urge you to to watch the um, the July um, full moon reading as well, because that will also affect you at least at the beginning of the month. Um, there will be an extra energy uh, that comes to you that will um, <clears throat> rock your emotions quite a bit, right? Um, so it makes sense... Um, it makes sense anyway to look at the uh, the full moon readings, but because of the four super moons happening in in a row, if that makes sense, and um, and uh, because there is one in July and this is usually July reading, um, you cannot underestimate the power of the full moon, especially when it is closer to Earth, which is what a super moon is. In any case, right? Let's look at the overall energy for the months ahead for the sign of Aries. Like I said, you are watching Thomas's. Uh, tower readings. Now, here's another important thing. You have, um, so at your overall energy, you have a a planet called Ceres. That's C-E-R-E-S. Now, Ceres, by default, even though it is, technically speaking, a planet, is more a meteorite than a planet. And yet, until the year 1848, it was classed and seen as a planet. Now, Therefore, the energy here is that when you look at your life through the lens of history and through the lens of time, you will notice that people will view you differently as time passes on and moves on. So there's no reason for you to be worried about your so-called legacy if that makes sense, because um, what is shown here by having Ceres as, as your energy is that, you know, you're not here to please people at all. And what people want to say, they want to say. And eventually a lot of people who are probably now thinking F you, Aries, um, will come around eventually. Right? So that's just important because it gets I get the energy of Ceres quite strongly. Um, the other thing is, uh, so the, as the overall energy, um, is to understand that just because, so stay with the theme, even if Ceres is not seen as a planet and more as a meteorite, it makes no bloody difference to, the, to, 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 to Ceres, which is still a heavenly body that is in the universe, therefore has an energy. And that's another message here for you. It doesn't matter, again, it seems to be the, the, the theme here for you, uh, over energy, is don't, don't let yourself be affected by the judgment of others. Do your thing. Understand that you are an integral part of the universe. You also are a reflection of the universe. It doesn't matter what people say about you or think about you. Do you. That is also the strength of Aries. You're the first sign, therefore is you are the kick-ass sign, right? But um, because of the energy here, you will find that you will probably attract a lot of people with strong opinions this month, right? So uh, just understand, while they're not suggesting here for you not to listen um, or to just dismiss everything, just understand this. If people want to be nasty, haters going to hate, pay no attention because it does not serve you. Right? So the other thing, therefore, is when you are um, confronted with strong opinions of others, remember they're just opinions 
And sometimes we have an opinion, then we say that opinion to a friend, that friend automatically is on our side, right? So then you have two people that are highly opinionated without knowing what the heck is going on, right? So pay no attention at the same time, because the energy here for Aries flows into being judged. Um, really important for you to nurture yourself. Look at yourself. Um, maybe even protect yourself a little. Now Aries is the first sign. You you know you you are um, you're going a lot of stuff alone. You're quite powerful, um, but that's not always the way to go, right? If you have friends, if you have people that you are gelling well with and they are your friends, by all means, you know, um, talk to them when you're not well. Okay. The point is, the energy here is about you being judged um, quite a bit <laughs> and at the same time um, take it with a grain of salt it's just other people's opinions um, and you nurture yourself you look after yourself you put yourself first really really important okay now let's look at your emotional core like I already said there is a super moon happening this month uh, so that will rock your emotions at the beginning of the month because it's happening on the 3rd of July the super moon reading um, you can find as well on the channel um, and then when it comes to your emotions, you have Pluto. Now, this terminology. Pluto is the outermost planet in our solar system. Therefore, he has an erratic orbit as well. So the point here is, your only task is when it comes to how you're feeling, is to understand that you can take your time before you act on your emotions, right? Because Pluto has a bit of a rebellious side uh, to him and therefore um, if you are somehow emotionally compromised, you could overreact in combination with being Aries, which is like, you know, um, uh, literally a, a, the sign of a doer and someone who doesn't, um, doesn't, Suffer fools, if that makes sense. The advice here is to step back a little, understand that because you have Pluto, which is the outermost planet, um, takes 248 years for Pluto to actually orbit the sun, right? So, and has only been found um, in 1930. So it has yet to, to, to um, <laughs> orbit the sun. Point here is, there's no rush. Don't rush anything just because you feel something and you feel there has to be changes, which is not necessarily wrong. If, you, if there are changes, then changes need to be made. But in your case, especially in July, is to not mm, be forced or pushed to do something. Right? If you feel you need more time to think about stuff, then take that time. No point rushing anything really really important okay so and now let's have a look at the uh, opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of july <laughs> and you're right at home when it comes to your opportunities you have aries which is you and all the guides are saying is um be yourself really really important that's all you need to do once you are not trying to sell yourself when you want to have um uh, uh, new beginnings um, with anything to do with what sustains you. Um, just just go with what you feel um, has to happen, right? Don't. This is not the month for Aries this uh, July here um, to do compromises, right? So the point here is um, opportunities are not happening in in in. Uh, um, in high numbers so so opportunities feel um a bit sparse if that makes sense for for you this month but the point is um and understand that you know if you feel like not much is happening and then someone offers you um something you might just jump and say yeah let's do this and that's where the guides are saying is don't don't just jump look at it again no rush look at it and see will that new thing that I'm looking for 
will that thing that is coming to me now really fulfill me? So it's about honesty and about stepping back. Again, Aries, you are by default the sign of the doer, right? the first sign of the zodiac. Therefore, you will attract needy people rather than be needy. Um, so there's a, a lot of energy here uh, in Aries that has to do with needing to be strong. And all the guides are saying is, um, it's not about being strong. It's about being being reflective right and be uh, honest to yourself put yourself first look at does that new opportunity uh, should there one be one should there be one coming um, really reflect what I'm looking for or is it just because it gets me out of that shithole that I'm in if that makes sense well really really important not to um, to rush anything and to um, you know exchange one not so great thing with another right um and that's all we got that was the um that was your uh, july 2023rd or 2023 um reading thank you so much please like subscribe and share and if you like my work you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas see you next month